Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Chad Gray Outdoors. Today we are hiking the North Country Trail. It is backwards, which is fine. Um, I brought some friends with me. You can see them all. Uh, there's Aaron, he wanted to be in a video, so that's the only reason he came along. Um, it's just going to be a simple hike and about three miles, and that's about it. Um, for those of you that don't do much hiking, the North Country Trail has registration areas. Um, they prefer you to sign where you're going to, the date, um, your name. It just helps for the Forestry Service to look for you if you become lost. Um, we were just doing a small three mile hike. I wasn't really worried about this, but Kyle wanted to sign us in. Um, hopefully we don't get lost, but you never know. We're hoping to see some animals today, so we're gonna, we're gonna sacrifice the little one. We got the big one. We can run faster than him, but we'll sacrifice the little one. So we are hiking from Forestry Road 116 in the Allegheny National Forest, um, northwestern Pennsylvania. This section we're doing, we're heading south from here. It takes us to, to a town called Kellettville, but we're not even going close that far. Um, the small section we're doing will take us to, it's called the Queens Creek, or Queens Creek Shelter, my bad. Um, the majority of the trail, this part of the trail is on an old railroad grade. Um, if you've never hiked the uh, North Country Trail in Pennsylvania, it's pretty much 96.3 miles, I think I read online. Um, it takes you from the New York State border, uh, runs you through the Allegheny National Forest down towards uh, Marionville. Uh, beautiful section. The section we're on doesn't have a lot of big rocks. Nothing fancy. Uh, right now, this time of the year is not very exciting, but we finally got weather over 50 degrees here in Pennsylvania. So, said so heck with it. Let's go out. Small ravine, nice little creek crossing. Now this little section here, you can really see the old railroad grade. It's kind of hard to tell in the video, but it humps up through. And here we got all kinds of good greenery, finally. Everybody's getting way ahead of me. My wife's always saying we should go out and pick a bunch so she can make like Christmas wreaths out of. I've hiked this section here uh, every year for the last few years. Usually it's been in the winter time. Uh, usually me and my daughter do a a winter hike. We just didn't get it this year. But the way we can always tell that we're getting close to the shelter 
is by the trees. At least that's how she tells. If you notice, you just go from regular hemlock, maple, oak, whatever, into these tall pine, which I'm guessing they were probably planted at one time years back. They're in pretty decent rows. And over here is more hemlock. So not far up here around this corner will be to the shelter. And I brought some uh, mountain house dehydrated food. Uh, I'll just cook that up. It's usually what we do. Nothing special. I didn't bring any cast iron pans or anything fancy to make any crazy meals. We'll just probably sit down here for a good hour and tinker around in the woods. All right, so here's the shelter. Oh yeah, here's the shelter. Last time we were here, the picnic table was sitting right here. This was made by the uh, Allegheny National Forest Chapter volunteers a couple years ago. Nice little fire pit, some wet wood. We're probably not going to make a fire, so I'm not worried about it. Let's get everything going, get something to eat. So we decided to keep moving just a little bit more. We're going to head back to the shelter after this. Hike went a little faster than we thought. Here's the other side of those pines. The shelter is that direction. And then it just opens right up. Nice little small stream. This ought to be exciting. Right. <laughs> so that ain't gonna work. Big man's thirsty. I don't know. Just get your face right down in there. I don't want to biff it, but. <laughs> Atta boy. Now his feet are going to be soaked. We're going to have to listen to that. <coughs> and I thought him drinking water was going to be exciting. Watch this one. It's probably like steps carved out behind it. <laughs> wow. Hey -oh. She made it. Howdy, folks. Go ahead. Talk to the video. Yeah, it's pretty neat up here. You know, you can see. Pretty far into the... You can see over there and over there. Yeah. Lots of cool stuff to see. Pretty neat. Like this guy. And this girl. And this guy. And that neat. Especially this guy. <laughs> Probably looking down my shirt. <laughs> we're going to steal his backpack and take off. <laughs> now we're boiling up some water. I got my jet boil going. And I got another fancy little burner here. My dad bought me a bunch of years ago. I just never used. I already had the jet boil uh, propane. I'm going to try this thing out. Probably overkill, but something to do. Oh, while we're down here, you can see where the porcupines decide to chew up the floor. Get this boiled up. We got some fancy meals here. Some bushcraft meals. Noodles and chicken, beef stew, living a dream. Should turn out all right though. All right, so I busted out the purifier. As you can see, I have to set it right down into the water. Uh, the intake part busted off, so you gotta set the whole ass end right into the water. 
pumping away. Pump away, we got another one to fill up. Okay. Alright. Bring a lid for this? Nope. I said this was beside you or something. Alright. Unlid me. Stick oh. the lid. Look at her go. This sure is fun. I don't get to use this very often, so when I get a chance to, I take advantage of it. All right, so Kyle's got the raspberry crumble. His Take on this says it looks like bloody dirt, which in a way it's hard to see down there, but yeah, that definitely looks like disgustingness. But <laughs> he said it's really good. Aaron's got the beef stew, also looks pretty disgusting, but it tastes good. Chicken and noodle, mm. Mm -mm. she enjoys it, Ugh. he enjoys it. He's not eating. Water. <laughs> <laughs> he enjoys it. So I've been walking down here many, many times. And this is just that far away from the shelter. And it looks like a spring. However, there's a sign laying on the ground that says warning water not for... Consumption. Oh yeah, not for consumption. So thinking it was a good spring. It's not. Yeah, it's good for cleaning that stuff up. So now I found where uh, Haley can bring the pot down to clean her bowl out. I'm not cleaning it. Yeah. No. That sounds perfect. No. This is like made out of wood. It has nails in it. So what is up here at some point? Tell me where the, what the holes are for. Um, I think somebody shot it. So we went out, cut some sticks. I used my favorite knot to just wrap it as many times as you can around the wood knot. Hung a little bit down here. Got a little pot holder. It's fancy. Make sure you leave enough room right here in case you have a lid. That way it doesn't get caught. I learned that in all the fancy videos. But yeah, hopefully everybody enjoys this knot. First I wrap this way, then this way, and this way, then this way, then this way, then this way, this way, this way, round. It's perfect. All right, so a lot of the videos I show say that you can't light a fire by rubbing two sticks together like this. Well, I got my daughter here doing it. All she's got to do is just rub a little quicker. All right, it's getting a little warmer. I can see smoke. I don't see it in the video. All right, she's got it. It's a ridiculous amount of sparks that you can get to come off a stick like this. All right, back off. Now, we're not gonna be cooking on this. I just wanted to see if we could actually get one going by rubbing sticks together, and it actually worked. Make sure you have the right kind of wood, though. This here's the dead wood. It works real good. Make sure it's dead. All right, thanks for watching this. All right, it's time to wash the dishes. I don't like washing dishes. Just let it go. Now, as a teaching method, a lot of times stuff will stick to the bottom of the pan. What you gotta do, reach in and grab some of that small rock. Mm. Yep, like the sand looking stuff. Oh. Get a handful of that, put it down inside there. And then rub your hands around inside of it. Turns it into like a, a scour power. Very cold water. Get the water. sides. And 
And we're not gonna make it perfect just because we're not spending the night not reusing it again tonight. That should be good. Oh, I just think I need to wash the dirt off of it now. All right, here's the spoons. I don't so, know how I'm gonna wash these. So hard to get women to do dishes nowadays. Men can't even do it. There, I think that's good. Oh. All right. There we go. Now do a cartwheel. <laughs> Haley, go out with her with him. Just realized that right here is the spring head. It's the same spring that leads down to the <clears throat> water we got and the water we used to clean the pan out. So you know the water is nice and fresh. Well, it's starting to rain. We decided to pack up, head back. We had fun. We just messed around in the woods for a little bit. Something to do. It's been a while since we've been out. So even if it's just a three mile round hike, it's not too bad. We made it back. Um, didn't take us very long. Kyle said 15 minutes walk back from the shelter, so probably just a mile. Um, I hope everyone enjoys their video. Uh, we just messed around for a little while, had some fun. Um, if you like the video, click subscribe. Um, yeah, I'm getting laughed at. <laughs> click like. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching.